Hi there, this is Westy Turtle, and today I want to show you a bike from CCM. Uh, first of all, I really wanted to touch a little bit on the history of uh, CCM. Uh, so CCM themselves are actually a British company based up in, um, in Bolton. And they've been around since 1971. Lots of their bikes have been uh, based around sort of scrambling, um, and sort of a rallycross motorcycle um, due to the, the founder Alan Clues being quite into that sort of thing um, and in the past five or so years they've brought out a series called the Spitfire range and they've had lots of variations from the standard Spitfire then they had things like a flat tracker um, they also did things like a cafe racer and also one called a bobber um, and today I want to show you a, a variant um, of the bobber um, that they've just finished uh, producing. So without further ado, let's get into the bike. Okay, so here she is. So this specific bike, um, like I say, is a variant of the bobber. So it's the bobber REF edition. Um, and this bike is very much a, a special edition. Um, all of their uh, bikes that uh, from the Spitfire range um, have either sort of 500, 250 or even 150 variants whereas this one actually only has a hundred so they've only actually produced a hundred of these bikes um, and as you can really see it's uh, very much that sort of REF style um, with the blue tank and also the yellow as well on the front and rear mudguards um, and it was really inspired because well in 2018 of course it was a hundred years since the first world war um, and last year in 2019 it was also a hundred years of the uh, REF Benevolent Fund and that's actually the logo um, that you can see here so it looks very similar from the REF but with the love heart in the middle um, if you guys don't know so the Benevolent Fund helps sort of injured um, servicemen who have fought or fought in the past um, really just to get sort of help with mental health issues for themselves but also the wider family as well um, and a thousand pounds of each bike went towards the charity um, so it also you know a little bit went to a really good cause as well um, as you can see it's very much looks like a sort of 30s style bike um, built to basically to uh, commemorate also Lawrence of Arabia um, when he had quite a few brush superiors um, and uh, again it sort of links in or harps back uh, to that as well but why don't we go into a bit more detail from front to back on the bike so as you can see at the front there's actually a plate on here so AA810 now the reason for this was that each bike has a different plate uh, depending on actually the the name of the Spitfire um, and so this one uh, was picked sort of for us but also we chose it and I'll also do another video explaining in a little bit more detail why we we chose that as you can see there's quite a lot of carbon around on this bike so again all of this is pure carbon all the way around to the back with this nice sort of yellow tip which you sort of think of when you think of a Spitfire with the the yellow tips on the wings so again really nice touch um, in terms of at the front now we've actually got twin Brembo brakes and at the front there's 320 millimeters and at the back 240 millimeters um, and like I say twin at the front um, for this sort of bike I mean it's not of course that powerful um, but I mean yeah it would definitely have a lot of stopping power on there but I think it looks nice that sort of symmetrical shape uh, to it we've got the cat coming in as well now um, talking about the engine so the engine is actually um, a Husqvarna unit um, it's a 600 single cylinder so you can imagine you know when it starts up it's got that really nice sort of offbeat idle to it coming around to the other side now just wanted to show you again a little bit more detail into this so for example on here look at the, the Spitfire emblem on there and also the welding as well around here so the welding itself has actually been done handmade um, all the way down which again gives it that sort of professional touch to it individuality and I think it just looks really really nice on the motorbike again a little bit more carbon 
on there with a, a nice sort of Union Jack as well done into the, the metal work along with the, even the casing for the battery there's the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund shown on there coming down to the exhaust so there's um, so it's a, a dual exhaust one either side um, now this actually they've had to tweak since the prototype because the prototype it was actually a lower slung exhaust um, and Carl Fogarty is the guy um, who you guys probably all know from doing sort of super bikes and also the TT he um, was probably doing un what most of us probably wouldn't do but really sort of flooring it knee right down and it was actually touching on the road so they have had to move it up slightly but I still think it looks really nice um, for this bike as well coming along as with the, the front you've got the nice white wall tyres which again you sort of automatically think of for a, a 1930s style bike um, and I think it sets it off very well in terms of the leather we'll start from the top here so again actually the, the casing here for example for the fuel tank again looks really nice quite retro nice Spitfire logo um, and yeah the leathering is, is very nice you know pure leather even coming back to the to the, the pillion seat which um, isn't actually strong enough to have a, a pillion but again it's a nice touch and even these panniers on the side now these were actually produced uh, from the help of Bentley so these were actually handmade um, which again is really nice and you can take them on and off you know if you're when you're riding or maybe if you're stationary like it is now we've also got a nice show plate as well um, linking to the front so AA810 um, again just sets off quite nicely when you're maybe at that shows or events gives it that sort of retro uh, look with the nice sort of black and silver embossed plate the final thing as well with all of these bikes was that um, again a bit of individuality they actually had a section of Spitfire which we've put on here so this actually here is from AA810 so this is actually a part of the fuselage of that exact plane um, so that's over 75 years old so again it's you know it's a nice touch to have on this this bike again things like the cold start lever really really nice and also the brake fluid <coughs> as well so that's really hopefully a nice sort of walk around for you guys to get a bit of an idea um, I want to also produce another video explaining where the AA810 came from and how we uh, picked that number but also I want to of course do another video out and about on the road um, to see what it's like to ride and also you know I guess more importantly what it um, what it sounds like so please stay tuned but uh, thank you very much for listening and speak to you soon